In October of 1994, a three-month-old baby was brutally murdered by a UFO cult. Find out about this horrific story in the history of the group that still remains active to this day. The cult, known as the Order of the Solar Temple, was founded by two French enthusiastic occultists, Joseph de Mambro and Luc Jouret, in the 1980s. They had spent time in various different cults before eventually deciding to combine what they viewed as the best elements into their own. The group traced its authority to the revival of the ancient religious order known as the Knights Templar. The leaders of the Solar Temple initially told their followers that the world was coming to an end through an ecological catastrophe that would be caused by volcanic eruptions. Resembling something of the modern doomsday preppers we see on the television, they began stockpiling weapons, ammunition and food in a desperate bid for survival. However, they perhaps didn't think this through, because once all the stockpiling was done and no volcanic apocalypse occurred, Demambro and Jury noticed that their followers were starting to lose interest. They put their heads together though and decided to make up a new lie that they thought might be more appealing. Demambro and Jure began telling members that life on Earth was just an illusion and that they only had so long before people on Earth were doomed. Before this date, the enlightened few would have to leave their earthly bodies and transition to the unnamed planet bordering the dog star Sirius. Demambro said that the method of transition was cloaked in shadow and mystery but that it was highly likely that a UFO containing extraterrestrials would come and transport the Enlightened to the new Earth, whilst everyone else was forsaken. They partook in various meditative and occult disciplines, as well as in elaborate rituals to achieve an enlightened state of consciousness in preparation for the transition. Whilst on Earth, they hoped to assist in the bringing about of a new age this assistance would involve its members giving birth to superior humans, nine of whom would be cosmic children who would set in motion the new age. They also believed in the unification of Christianity and Islam, as well as the second coming of Jesus Christ as a solar god king. One of the most interesting things about this cult is the composition of their membership. It has long been the view of experts that cults are mainly comprised of people from poorer economic circumstances as a way of escaping their poverty and looking for something greater. The Order of the Solar Temple, however, defied this, with its membership boasting millionaires, mayors, high-ranking civil servants, doctors and members of the French police force. Members paid exorbitant fees to rank up within the Order and were instructed to give gifts to the leaders. Upon ranking up, they hoped to unlock secret cult knowledge about the Solar God King. The lowest rank was the Brothers of Parvis. This was followed by the Knights of the Alliance, and then finally, the Brothers of the Ancient Times. During ceremonies, they wore crusader-type robes and were given a sword to hold that Demambro claimed was an authentic Templar artifact given to him 1,000 years ago in another life. No secret cult would be complete without a mysterious inner circle. For the Order of the Solar Temple, this was known as the Synarchy of the Temple. It was comprised of the greatest donors and the leaders of the cult. They held all the power and were also referred to as the Elder Brothers of the Rosy Cross. All was going well for the cult until Eli, Demambro's son, realized that some visions people had seen in the cult were actually made by projectors. He started telling others about this and soon people started working out that Demambro and Jure were frauds. Naturally, people were rather angry about this, but they became even more incensed when they realized how extravagantly their founders lived and it soon became apparent that they had been pocketing all of the rank up fees from their members for their own private fun. Demambro realized that things were going south and so that he needed to turn it up a notch if the cult were to stay together. Demambro had been telling people that his children were demigods and that they had a special spiritual destiny. He became outraged when two of his followers, Antonio and Nicky Dutois, had had a child together, which he had forbade, and even more outraged when they had named the child Emmanuel, the same as one of his own supposed demigod children. He proclaimed that the child was the Antichrist, and on the 30th of September 1994, he ordered the execution of the infant child along with Antonio and Nicky. They were stabbed to death with a wooden stake at the cult's headquarters in Montreal, Quebec. 
Not long after this event, Demambro and Jury told their members that the end was nigh. They said that there wasn't long before the transition, and that they should leave their earthly bodies early to transport to their new home on the planet orbiting Sirius. The method by which they were to leave Earth was poison. And so in two villages in Switzerland, 15 members voluntarily poisoned themselves. Another 38 who refused to die were shot or smothered to death. Demambro and Jure were among the dead. The two buildings were set alight by remote control devices. This is what alerted Swiss officials to the scene, who found the bodies in a secret underground chapel dressed in the Order's ceremonial robes, with their feet together in a circle, heads facing outwards. Most of the dead had plastic bags over their heads, which some suspect were part of a ritual. Goodbye letters left by some of the believers stated that they believed they were escaping the hypocrisies and oppression of this world and going to somewhere better. Other suicides and killings were carried out by the cult and groups connected to them in this period, as well as over the next few years. Despite these atrocities, the group is still around today and expected to have somewhere between 140 and 500 members. So, what did you think of this horrific cult? Be sure to drop a comment down below and let me know. Until next time though, have a good day and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.